Hello everybody, welcome back. Today in this video, it's gonna be a little different. Uh, it's gonna be me and David Sawyer are gonna switch radios. He's got, uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around. We're gonna have a battle between the HB and the Techno Nitro buggies. We're gonna run them together for a little bit with the help of our lovely assistant, Lisa the Pit Chick. This is, this is David Sawyer, better, better known as David Saw Daddy Sawyer, or when he's driving really good, I like to call him Davide Sawyer. So, uh, he doesn't run Nitro a whole lot, so, but he hadn't ran it since the SIC race, right? So, we got it all fired up, tuned it up a little bit, got the tune right, and we're gonna drive together for a little while and see how they compare to one another. Then we're gonna switch radios and get each other's opinion on it. Now, we're originally gonna do this with Joseph the Flash Wilkerson. He's upstairs. You probably hear him rustling around up there working on his car. We're under a little time constraint, so we're gonna run ours together and then I'm gonna try to squeeze some in from Joseph at the end. So, he's got an S-Works Nitro buggy, but he's got it all apart and we gotta get ours going. So we're gonna run ours and then David's gotta leave. So we're gonna try to add something in with me and Joseph running a little later. And Lisa is going to do a little bit of video for me and our pit help and maybe, maybe we won't wreck and she'll have her out there in corn yeah, that's good. I hope so. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna get these, these guys fired up Just running, and running, we'll see how it goes.
too now, much, too much power for this track. Probably too much power. I, I just changed to the 5 cord to 5 yes, It is definitely really strong for this track. Uh, it lacks a little bottom end, I think, compared to my other engines. Alright, so tires, he's got B flexes on. I tried to warm up earlier, I tried some B flexes. My setup just likes the detox better, so I switched back. It makes it a lot easier to drive. Uh, it just never has been as comfortable on reflex, so I switched that. And uh, so we swap cars, and you tell you tell me what you thought about what you thought about the HP. Well, man, I know yours is set up really well, but I can immediately drive it better than my car. I don't drive this car very much. Setup's probably not right, and the tires may not be right, but yours was easier to drive than mine. What the? That's easy, but yeah. I, yours was good. I, now, it's real different. Yeah. Mine, I can drive yours like a plane. Yeah. Mine's got a lot more snap at the bottom. I don't know if that, that's probably plus. Uh, that took me a lot of getting used to. I, See the first several laps, I don't know how much I'm gonna hit it out of there, but the first several laps I was terrible with this car. It feels like it's got a delay. Right? It's it's yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I, I got a feeling that's the plug. Uh, I know the engine's got the power, real similar power band probably. Uh, but once I got used to it, it's just to get used to it. Once I got used to it, it's better. It's really good in places. Uh, like that left side of the track comes in there. I thought it was good. I know. Uh, but it took me some getting used to to get a company to that. But I, I could get used to it. It's a good car, no doubt. It's it, it just mine has more punch. I, I, honestly, could that be a tune in the radio? Could be. Yeah, I don't have any expo. I've got a good bit of expo in mine. Uh, put some speed out. Score one for the pit chick. Yeah, uh, pit chick gets her jab in every time. <laughs> but yeah, that was fun though. Um, I, I, they're both, you can see, well, once we got used to it, I, we raced together pretty good. We can swap them back and forth. Um, but I I thought it was good. It was, um, just didn't have the punch mine does, but I think that's just something you get used to. You can probably, you can probably stand a little punch, I can stand, I can stand a little less, maybe. I can drive here pretty good. I don't have much nitro experience at all. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, you hadn't you hadn't spent the time I have just to set up on this too. So I think with a little fine tuning, I think they would be very both they're both very competitive cars, you know. So, um, and this, that's just on this track. It may be different on a bigger car, more wide open track. That may be even better. You know, I don't know. But anyway, I guess that's it for this. Well, I might get some with Joseph that later. David's got to go. He's going to drag race. Drag racing, nothing. So, well, see, drag racing, I was saying. No prep, RC. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was his real car. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I'm going to try to get some of the Joseph a little later if he ever gets his car back together. He's got the S work. Uh, we'll compare it to the HP. I can compare my opinion with it versus the Techno, but uh, hopefully, we'll be back with you. If not, I'll come back with a closing video here in a minute. Okay, here we are back. We got Joseph. He's finally got his car ready. Yeah. So David had to leave. He's going drag racing RC cars today. So we had to split it up. Joseph is a younger guy, probably a little faster than most of us here because he's, he's young. He drives for S Works. What's uh, this your is S35 Ford? S35 Ford. Yep. Okay. And of course, I got my HP Racing D D819 RS. So he runs for S Works. AKA, who else? Um, Brad's Engines, and then... <laughs> you gotta look at his shirt. Yeah. I can't look at my shirt. I don't yeah. run for all the Tigers. <laughs> yeah, I just run Red's Racing for the engines, and all my electric buggies, I run their ESCs and motors. But okay. that's all of our sponsors, AKA. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing we did with David. Uh, we're gonna run about five minutes or so with each other like normal, and then we're gonna come in and refuel and swap radios, and then we're gonna See what we think about each other's car. So we're gonna get these things fired up. Mine's his. He just ran his, make sure it was working right. Mine's semi warm, so we'll go ahead and get them fired up here. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He got to make the last adjustment. Okay. 
don't want me hurting his feelings. Oh, goodness. Now, in reality, he's probably going to have to wait on me. He's going to put a whooping on you. Yeah. Probably going to wear me out with my own car.
was fun. That was fun. I have a lot to say. Yeah. <laughs> it was good though. Like, yeah, it was, not bad. it was good too. So I definitely have some thought. Okay. Okay, so there we are. That was me, the hammer, and Joseph, the flash, Wilkinson. HP Racing and an S Works. That's what? the top four. S35 four. Uh, so we ran normal in our own car at first and then we swapped over to silly just the way each other thought. I didn't drive so good again like I did with David but with my own car I didn't drive so good. And then we swapped cars so Joseph what do you think? What, what do you think about the HP? Well so in my car I run like um, the first thing I noticed was I felt like his differential fluids were probably a little thinner. What do you run? 752. Okay well I run 1010 and 7 in mine so I like it really aggressive on power, at least for this track. I thin them out for a bigger track sometimes, but that was the first thing I noticed was, especially the initial burst. It didn't take off quite as, as aggressively, I guess, as mine, but his had way better steering, I would say, and it was a little bit more stable because of the thinner, the thinner fluids. So, and I would actually say the braking was a little bit better. I might need to tweak mine a little bit with that, but yeah. um, that was the only thing was I liked how my car is really aggressive. And there were a few times where the rear end kicked out where I didn't expect it to. Um, but my car also, <laughs> my car has loose rear end in other areas, but it, it just felt, it was different, but it was, it was good. Um, so. Yeah. I, Joseph's car to me was really good. I, um, if anything, it didn't have as much off power steering, which is, yeah, I, I that's that. what I usually set mine up for. And I think that's got a lot to do with age. You know, he drives more with a throttle. And I drive more off throttle to be smooth and not crash, but it didn't feel aggressive to me at all. Really? Uh, I thought it was very easy to drive. Uh, I think it had more mid corners to be like going through the, that section up there, I could I could put down more mid corner speed than I can in my car. Uh, okay, that might have been it, because there were a couple of times where yours kinda kicked out yeah. mid, around mid corner. That's why I wasn't expecting mine always breaks either right going right into it yeah. or um, it, uh, Mine does turn, seems to turn better off power come into turn. That's all. Right. It's more responsive. I, that's probably what you're feeling too, but it's a good car. I, I could drive that. Uh, it, I think the what it had over this one, more mid corner speed, what this had over that is more off power. Off power. So, as far as the cars, you know, you, you, you run a red engine with an R7. Yeah, older, this is the older, the older one. I have the new uh, Scuderia engine though. Um, so I actually just put this one back on to, cause this one still has some life left. So I'm trying to wear this one out before I put the new one on. Uh, but as far as like taking it to the regional races, like P and B and Southern Indoor Championship, I've always put the new one on for this. Now the, the, the S works car is a billabong car, it is. which I don't drive billabongs car but I have driven the billabong car and it's Mugen totally what? Different. What are you saying? Billabong. Pillow ball? Yes, sorry the pitching doesn't know what pillow ball is pitching. So the front end, if you look. Uh, it's not, it's, it's all the yeah, Explain the, for those of us that don't know. The yeah. front end uses pivot bo pillow balls, is what those are called, and that's how it controls the front suspension. So it's a different style. This is a C Hub. Mine is a C Hub car. It's a totally different design. This is the C Hub. So usually very different driving characteristics, but this car. Doesn't drive like a Mugen pillow ball car, that's for sure. And that's I think that's got to do with the rear end more than anything though, but probably so. They change a lot on the rear end from S35 threes and four. They like they the shock tower is actually shorter but it's wider. Um well this car. I'm I think that's right. Yeah, no one one of them one of them was shorter and wider than the other. I'm pretty sure it's a new one I would <laughs> have to go back and look at my, it's very, my very stable. I, I expected it to be the way you drive a little more rear end steering. I expect it to be harder to drive, but maybe the way we fly the throttle is a lot different. Uh, and your tires, you're running double down. Yeah, they're AKA double down. Where you uh, detox uh, green take on. Now, this is a more stable tire. The way you drive, you may want like a reflex or a detox or something to make it rotate a little more. Yeah. But this one, I prefer these to be a little more stable. Well, honestly, I like the double down. Sometimes I like running the impacts on this track. 
as much as I might have seen. Yeah, the big pin parts are like you wouldn't think the side of the track as this is, it would be good, but it actually is really stable. Thank you. I actually like the feeling of this back on the track. Back in the past, before I raced the concept, we were in the uh, back on the buggy, and they were good everywhere. I didn't never really like them on the buggy, but I can see, I think why I like them on the truck is because there was a little less pin on the ground that rotated. Maybe that's why you like them both to drive up. It might not fit me, but. Well, they, these tend to, uh, in my experience, like they'll be really tight for most of the track, but when they break loose, they break loose. Like, oh, yeah. But uh, the impacts are kind of more all around. Like, you're not going to have the best grip in every single part, but it, it's not just going to break loose. Yeah. And some of that could have to do with car setup, too. But uh, that's sometimes more like running. Well, I wish it, I wish. We'd all been able to run together and you could uh, run David's car and him run your car and so on. But uh, overall, you know, it, it's hard to rank any of these cars over one another because they've all got their own characteristics and you set them up for you. And then we got different radios. His is a uh, San Juan MPS. It's almost the same as far as driving, driving wise, what it feels like. David had M17. Yeah, your controller fell almost exactly Yeah, they feel, yeah, they feel real similar. I'm really shocked to have the, and the same thing with the M17. You know, the difference between David's car had a little less hit than mine, but it drove great. Uh, I think that's in the clutch setup. He's going to work on that, but I, I think it drove great. And obviously, he's, you can tell he's a much faster driver than, than either David or myself. I don't know. Y'all both pretty fast, though. I mean, well, I have my moments, but also wrecked a few times. Like they that. fast for old men. Yeah, well, yeah, we're fast for old guys. <laughs> so, Thanks so much for watching. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks, Joseph. Thanks, David. And make sure you subscribe, like, and share, and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. And check out Joseph's. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Je Joseph has a YouTube channel. I forgot. Yeah, check it out. You need to check it out because that's the name. Of it. Yeah, <laughs> I came it. off with the saying, "When in doubt, check it out." Yeah, that's really there cool. There you he go. Does, uh, computer and phone stuff, technical stuff. Technical. Pretty good, so make sure you check it out. Take it out. Take it out.